Today I'm going to compare the Leyland, which is made in Bathgate in Scotland, and the Dave Brown, which is made in Meltham in Yorkshire. They're both a similar age, spec and condition. But uh, you wouldn't think that really, they're very similar, but they look totally different. The Leyland is only slightly newer than the Dave Brown by the number, it's only one, uh, well, one dredge. Uh, Front to each other. I think the Leyland's Leyland was sold in 1979, so this is probably 1979, maybe 1978. <clears throat> so this is a 996, and this is a 262. I think the 262 has a bit more power, but they're just the same size and all. Okay, uh, similar now. So for both both of these, the two makes, they used their own front axle, their own engine their own gearbox, their own back end, so own design basically throughout it. So <coughs> I'll start the front, so axle. So both of them has a uh, hydrostatic steering, the Leyland has it in the front, a nose of a ram in there, the Brown has it there. So that means, hydrostatic means we don't have a, a rod coming from the steering wheels, just pipes. Okay. Battery, so you see a battery where we don't have a grill for it, but the battery is in front there. Take the grill out to get at it. On the Leyland, it's a tray under there, you take a pin out and it drops down and you can get at the battery. So we're in the same sort of place, but different way you get at it. The same with uh, normal checks. So on the they were only have the water there, your diesel filler is right at the back there in the tank, oil's there. On the Leyland, you have to open the bonnet up. Diesel, water, oil. So you have to open the bonnet on the Leyland, but you don't have to accept the flap on the De Brown. Okay, engines, they're their own design engines. The De Brown, it has, well, this is different. It has uh, no liners, it's just bore a block and you have to bore them out a bit bigger or fit sleeves when you do them. They, uh, this they both have a CAV rotary pump. As you can see, check the pump. Leila now it has wet liners which you can change. You can pull the liner out and change them when they're worn. Okay, gearbox. So on the David Brown, it's a synchro mesh gearbox. So you can change and move. We've reversed on the main gear stick there. And then you have high and low there, and you have a little lever there for the lever for the normal and slow. So it's an extra sort of high low on the different rounds. On this Leyland, you could have synchro mesh, which is quite famous on them as an option, but this has the 10 speed box, so you have five gears there and reverse and a high low, so it's 10 speed. Okay, run this now, that's the hand clutch for a PTO, this is the handbrake, okay. On this now, on the left, it's the hand, hand clutch for the PTO, and on the right it's the handbrake, so the same side, but they're the same sort of way as the Leyland as well. Must be in standard, uh, uh, um, industry standard run. Clutch. <coughs> Master cylinder and slave cylinder brakes is the same. The Leyland, it's the same. So it's your brakes here. You have but this now on that you have a clip to block them. And on the Leyland, you press the middle one or you press. It's a bit stuck, but they're the independence or the two together. And this has a master cylinder in there. Reservoirs you take that off to get that. And it's the same for a clutch. Okay, uh, linkage. So it's linkage is there, up and down. You can mix a draft or a position, like a Massey or a later Ford. On the David Brown, it's a selectomatic system. Put the gear seat top, uh, the linkage to top. Then you can select between freedom rings, so height, sorry, uh, depth, height, and external or traction control. So it's external for use for loader, you have to put it at the top to select it. This is a dump pen, so 
uh, these are quite slow letting trailers back down after tipping so you pull that to let the trailer down fast and you also have a four position valve so that's his loader only that's uh, to use a tipping pipe I think linkage only linkage and loader but it is for the loader so this has a hand throttle and a foot throttle hand throttle and foot throttle so suspension seat and it's uh, their own cabs so these cabs with shape cabs start off as just a safety cab and we made it a quiet cab by fitting making it rubber mounted and fitting padding to sides and rubber mats and they were on the same it's their own cab which started off as a safety cab and they've added the windows and the rubber mounting and it has its own floor to take the noise and the padding to take the noise out of it to make it a quiet cab and they're both very complete cabs and all <coughs> see the top lining now now the Leyland has a has a conventional window and the Dave Rowan's different with sliding ga glass on it you have one working light you have two on the Leyland we both have a picker bitch but this is David Brown's own picker bitch and this is a tip one tipping pipe uh, for a tipping trailer and you have a latch for locking the linkage at the top Leyland has a picker bitch but this time it's an ARM unit if it is not their own and Le well they use it for years and years we arm and David Brown later used ARM as well uh, with a lot of other companies it has one pipe for tipping and this is a latch for locking the linkage at the top as well so they're, they're both the same that way and the same sort of spec brakes so you have uh, brakes well I need to do brakes on this so we have uh, uh, dry disc brakes which Leyland were famous for and well infamous when for how they worked <laughs> David Brown has drum brakes the drums are there you have uh, quite a job to get out to them really um, but uh, well these weren't too special as well to us with, uh, with a repetition but this one works then and the both of them they never really improved brakes that much uh, Dave Brown did fit them to a bigger tractors, but the small ones remained uh, drum brakes. But Leyland, once they went to the yellow 804 sort of thing, at the very end, they did go to uh, wet disc brakes like uh, Ford and Massey and whatever. You. But Dave Brown, they, they had uh, wet discs and some the bigger ones, but uh, not the smaller ones. <coughs> okay, so both of them have a hand PTO for a PT, uh, well, for PTO hand clutch. So you could uh, engage it and disengage it on the move without pressing the actual foot clutch. That's what the 996 gained over the 995. So the 995 would have a two-stage foot clutch. So you'd have to stop before you put the uh, PT on gear. But the 996 has a hand clutch. So you can keep on going and do and dis engage and disengage the clutch on the go. So yes. They're quite, quite tidy tractors there. Yeah. They're very complete and all there, the lights and everything all there. Oh yes, the Leyland difference. The Leyland had weight frames. David Brown, it was an option basically. You see a lot of them, they don't have uh, frames, but this, this does have a frame. It's probably to help protect the, uh, the front from the loader. And uh, another difference is, this has a loader, but it's David Brown's own made load loader. They made themselves. If you had a loader, Leyland loader for this Leyland, it would have been made by, I think, Steel Fab, uh, you know, um, or maybe Mill, I can't, can't remember which one, but it was an aftermarket maker that made them for them. So that would be another difference. Another thing is, the Dave Brown, it's quite hard to get in. The door's quite narrow in the, well, it's wide, wide and narrow in the wrong places. The Leyland has quite a wide door and can get in quite easily. Uh, another thing is the Leyland has a big 
transmission well it's on my gearbox so it's quite a big hump there of a David Brown is quite a flat floor they've made a floor of cab quite flat it's a bit of a bump there but it's not much at all because even the stickers are all there the toolbox inside the cab toolboxes with this on the other side um, they both have uh, their own pump for power steering with its own reservoir for power steering oil and this is the same of the other side but a different type pump as you can remember so this is what you can see from the cab quite big place for things there to put your arm the cab lining dash have a tray there for keeping stuff as well you can see the pillar there your clocks load of spool but can't compare that to this and have one <laughs> and you have an opening window in the door there but uh, we have that but it's a fitted and there should be a mirror there so that, that's different because it's quite a bit more back on Leyland. Oh yeah, also for Dave Brown he has uh, 540 and 1000 PTO so you can select the different speeds. So with uh, Leyland you have all the clocks in one place in the cassette. You have the lights for the well for the indicators and all. On the Dave Brown, it it's separate little lights. So this has a uh, all in one sort of dash. Here's uh, the stopper. It's a knob. Pick a bit here. You see, we're both quite good condition, you know, all the stickers and everything's there, all padding's there. On this, I even have the original top link and all, and you have the, on the, oh yeah, difference. Dave Brown, no opening windows, this has opening side windows. You see, the mirror there on the door. And you have a bit, not as much room, but a bit of room there. And the toolbox is there outside. Another difference as well as the hitch uh, on this arm unit. You flip this round and there's a hook on the other side so you can flip it around easy. On this David Brown, the, the, David Brown the own hitch, you bolt the hook to those holes there so it bolts on. Then you bolt on uh, like a retainer here so it uh, uh, stops the eye coming off and it's chains for lifting <coughs> so on this you only have two pins you, you can pull the drawbar out in and out with two pins and flip around and two pins to hold the hook so it's quite easy that way i think that's why a lot of manufacturers went to using this and it's uh, telescoping uh, telescopic uh, arms to pick it up Another thing similar is uh, you have top link sensing above them, so this is goes off a cable uh, when you're ploughing, it goes in and out. That uh, tells you the draft what to do. Uh, this as well, it's a uh, top link sensing shows into a back end there. A difference then is this has just normal sort of trumpets. And David Brown, you have these obvious uh, reduction units here. 
and some people change roads for different speeds and all that but uh, yeah so we have a little stubby uh, half shaft there and Verlilan has quite a long half shaft so yes we're uh, you know we're quite different as well but uh, say, saying now the battery location the power steering the quiet cabs the picker pitch the one tipping pipe well even the tire sizes are the same really um uh hand and foot throttle they both have master and slave cylinders for the brakes and clutch they both have hand clutches yes we're you know we're it's quite a bit uh, similar oh yes the engine now another thing the same is both engines are unstressed blocks a sort of difference and a similarity. Um, the Brown now has a cast iron bit there, which is basically works as a sump. It holds track together and it sort of works as half a sump. You have another little tin piece that goes underneath to make the sump, but it does form part of sump. This now, Leland, you have this cast iron, or is it? Yeah, cast iron is. It uh, this frame to take the weight of it, but it doesn't actually form the uh, actual uh, sump of it. So it has its own sump, but this same as the David Brown, it's an unstressed engine, which has a frame to take the actual stress. The axle are actually different as well, uh, as this has stays to pull uh, hold it, like a uh, Fergie, you see, and the David Brown has a solid front axle. Like a one six five. Yeah, we both have trailer, trailer brake lights. Um, both of them have that. Oh yeah, another difference is Leland has these telescopic uh, stabilizers, so you can just pull a pin and move them along. Uh, that's the difference now. As the David Brown has. Uh, threaded stabilizer you have to screw it in and screw it out but that the Leland's quite a bit easier you can just move a pin or move, move a hole um, you can have another one on the side so we can have two the same as well and you have just a box there same place uh, the other arm there that's adjustable on both of them so this is adjustable as well both the same that way um, you have a lift lock, that's the same. Both makes had that. But there's like Massey and Ford, they didn't have a lift lock. Um, both of them uh, British make. Toolbox there. Uh, both of them have an alternator, this has an alternator, that has an alternator. Another couple of similarities is the sliding bottom window, the rubber mounting to the cab, and both of them, these cabs were the same as the safety cabs, but on the safety cab you had, uh, on the uh, day brown, you had a plastic see-through sheet that came down, and the quiet cab has a uh, window, glass window, day brown, the, it has the sliding Glass rubber mounting there, and the older ones, the rattle, rattle cabs, they called these, uh, Leyland especially, because they rattled about. Uh, they didn't have a back window and all, uh, at all then, and these have a back glass window to keep the uh, noise out. So that's why the quiet cab has all these to keep the noise down from, uh, from vibrations and keep the noise out. Um, alternator, both have an alternator. So we're similar, you know, we're, we're just a similar thing if you wanted to work them, you know, pick a pitch and duster arm and single uh, tipping pipe and pick a pitch, hand clutch, you know, we're just sort of the same if you wanted to work them. But uh, you wouldn't think that by looking at them, they're totally alien to each other, you know.